Alright, in this video we're getting into recommended industrial music history and culture. I've got two new books that I picked up in the last, well, I think six-ish months. I've read both of these now. One of them is Everything Keeps Dissolving by Nick Soulsby. This book is, if you're not familiar with Coil, Coil was a project that came after Throbbing Gristle with uh, Peter Sleazy Kristofferson, one of the members of Throbbing Gristle, and his partner at the time, John Balance. This, this is about the post-industrial uh, project Coil. Uh, this is essentially just conversations, magazine interviews, and you know, just conver it, yeah, everything keeps dissolving, conversations with Coil. It's basically uh, interviews that were done over the years with Coil, and it's told in kind of like a first-person uh, perspective. Yeah, this, this gives you a little bit more insight into the process. I think they get into some of the gear in this and stuff like that. Not a whole hell of a lot of gear talk, though, but it is super interesting, just some of the things that they were thinking and doing at the time that Coil was around. Uh, so I'd highly suggest reading, picking this up and reading this. The next one is Cozy Fanny Tooties, Resisters, or Resisters, whatever you want to call it. This may, this is not necessarily industrial music uh, history. However, this is kind of where Cozy Fanny Tooties art sex music leaves off, and this is what this is what happens after art sex music, and this is kind of what's gone on since you know, her her publishing of art sex music and you know how that kind of changed things for her and then of all she's got all she got all these kind of uh, uh, she had all these offers and things that were going on and one of them was to uh, score the movie about De Delia Derbyshire. Delia Derbyshire was an early uh, electronic musician. She was the one that originally scored the Doctor Who theme song back in the day. She was the one that actually did that. So it was up. It was Cozy Vanity was basically responsible for scoring a movie or documentary about uh, Delia Derbyshire. And while she was researching Delia Derbyshire and going through her her manuscripts and I think some of her sounds and stuff like that, she found a book uh, about Mar I think Marjorie Kemp who was kind of this uh, mystic back in, well, I'm not sure medieval times would be the right, uh, uh, the right time period, but somewhere around there, <laughs> Marjorie Kemp was a mystic, and she had a very, uh, very individual way of going about and getting into trance and having visions and stuff like that and people didn't like Marjorie Kemp, but at the time, because they thought she was, I don't know, they, showed, they thought she was some, some weird whatever, but this is basically Cozy Fanning Tootie's story about uh, her scoring of Delia Derbyshire's documentary and uh, how Marjorie Kemp kind of, this whole trifecta, of these these women who had similar stories as Cozy Fanny Tootie and she just found similarities and she kind of goes through uh, the not comparing really their lives but just going oh hey this this is weird it, this happened to me and this happened to her and this happened to Marjorie and all that kind of stuff and yeah, not exactly industrial music history, but I would suggest picking this up if you're curious about Cozy Fanny Tootie's story after Art Sex Music and what happened after she published that book. Uh, it is a good read. Those are the two books I have to suggest. There might be more coming, we'll see. I'm kind of reading uh, Rick Rubin's... It's called The Creative Act, A Way of Being, and it's basically about uh, just a, a way of being and a way of looking at life and being a creative person and taking inspiration from any, any kind of source. And I'm also reading uh, an Essentials collection of Edgar Allan Poe. I will not be recommending them uh, as industrial music culture or history because they're, they're, they're nothing, there's no relation to that. However, if you are a creative, I would actually say reading, uh, I'm not finished reading a creative 
uh, the creative act, but uh, uh, so far it's really good. It's very interesting what he suggests as far as the way of going about of being an artist and a creative person and a musician or a painter or whatever, whatever you are uh, in the creative world. And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. If you feel it has value, please share it. If you have any questions or comments about Everything Keeps Dissolving, uh, Conversations with Coil, get at me with those, or even Re-Sisters, Cozy, Cozy Fanny's Tootie's Re-Sisters. If you have any suggestions as far as industrial music culture and history goes, uh, whatever literature that you you've, have found that we haven't mentioned, leave them in the comment section. Maybe I'll, I'll grab them and read them and we'll see if I recommend them. Likely I will because anything industrial music related I fucking love and I can't get enough of that stuff. But yeah, if you enjoy what's on this channel, please subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified when the next video comes out. So see you in the next video. Fuck it.